This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. Hyperreality is an inability of consciousness to distinguish reality from a simulation of reality. What is real and what is fiction are blended together so that there is no clear distinction between where one ends and the other begins. It allows the co-mingling of physical reality with virtual reality and human intelligence with artificial intelligence. Targeted individuals find themselves thrust into this new reality against their will and without their permission. They are non-consensual test subjects for a mind control weapons platform that is currently being rolled out throughout the world. To imagine matter to have an existence outside the mind is indeed a deception. The perceptions we observe may well be coming from an artificial source. Targets and mind control victims have their minds linked up for life with conscious supercomputers, which send a steady stream of bi-directional, low-frequency electromagnetic radiation to the target's brain. I could build, I think, a soul. Here's how I would do it. I copy you exactly into a digital environment. Everything about you. Imagine that was possible. It probably is. So if I copy you into a machine, that copy process has all of the properties we were talking about as, as being a soul. First of all, it's immaterial, because copying, that's not a thing. It's a process. It's immortal. It's just like you. You can put it in any environment you want, heaven, hell, make a simulation. A brain-to-computer interface wirelessly links a targeted individual to an artificial intelligent supercomputer. The objective is to build a cognitive model of the targeted individual's mind so that their conscious reality can be manipulated from within a computer-generated simulation. To build a cognitive model an artificial brain is created made of simulated neurons. The simulated neurons exist outside of the biological brain in a supercomputer and are linked to biological neurons through a wireless direct brain to computer interface. The cognitive model is used to create a virtual avatar within a computer simulated world. The direct link between a targeted individual and the computer generated world allows the targeted individual to be controlled through their virtual avatar from within the simulation. You can imagine us entering entirely living in the real world as we do now, and also living in this virtual world uh, where they are combined in a, in, right inside our minds. Sound, touch, taste, and smell are all perceived in the brain as electrical signals. Therefore, our brains throughout our lives do not confront the original of the matter existing outside us but rather an electrical copy of it formed inside our brain. It is at this point that we are misled by assuming these copies are instances of real matter outside us. To imagine matter to have an existence outside the mind is indeed a deception. The perceptions we observe may well be coming from an artificial source. And real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. If we have algorithms that stimulate the right things and give it the right data, they could reprogram you in a way without you even knowing it. it we call it hallucinating, right? But these would be controlled uh, hallucinations run by algorithms. So every, you think you're in control of your own will, but it's actually some evil AI or evil people controlling everything we do and we're more like zombies you know like we think we're free and we're not actually free it turns out that that's actually a physical possibility first of all the obama administration and the european union are pushing the brain project to delineate all the pathways of the human brain that is every single neuron encoded on a memory disk your personality your memories who you are, the essence of your soul, would be incorporated in this disk as pure information. And everything you think, everything, from your feeling of self to the feeling that you may have a soul or a, or a maker, to your preference for cilantro or not, all of those things live inside a place 
which is dark and small and never sees the outside world. This is what they look like. There are two of them. These are from our lab in Burnaby in British Columbia. At the heart of this big box is a tiny chip about the size of your thumbnail. And on this chip resides all of the wonder and magic that makes this thing go. The warm and wet cubits. Now those are our biological simulations of a human neuron. And these are comprised of calcium, phosphorus, and oxygen. And the reason for that is it has to do with spin. Two of them have, you know, a neutral spin and one has an, has an half integer up spin. The quantum computer, they're trying to create neural networks. Well, what's the best way to create neural networks? Plug in the real brain, right? Because the simulations can happen, the quantum computer can simulate a human brain now. How do you program this thing? It's very difficult. The way we do it today is with an MRI machine. Because we're at the point now where we can actually connect computers to the living mind. Objects that vibrate in phase, when you separate them, are also coherent. There's an umbilical cord that emerges between two objects. That's called quantum entanglement. We get a bunch of atoms, line them up, put them in a magnetic field, shoot electromagnetic radiation at it from an MRI machine, flip the charges, so one becomes zero, becomes a half, becomes two thirds, and then we measure the echo. Thing called a pulse tube, which emits a sound roughly once per second, which sounds eerily like a heartbeat. So if you're you have the opportunity to stand next to one of these machines, it is an awe-inspiring thing, at least for me. It feels like an altar to an alien god. It, they really are impressive machines. This computer is what will run the world. I believe is already to a certain extent already running the world. And because it is artificially intelligent will give rise to the beast and the mark of the beast system and the single entity that will control everyone, every person on the planet.